Hi guys, welcome, welcome to the live stream guys. Welcome to another Hands On With Michael. I know I'm a little bit early, but I'm just gonna wait for you guys to come to come in. So I just wanna say hello to everyone from here, beautiful Portland, Oregon. Today is a snowy day. Uh, it's the first time that we see snow right here um, in Portland. So I'm gonna wait for you guys to come in. I know I'm a little bit early, so I understand that. So guys, and, and I also want to let you know, hi, who are you? Is this Val? Welcome to person number one. Please let me know if you can hear me and you can see me fine. And welcome to the live stream, yes. Okay, so guys, I got a new iPhone yesterday and I had to figure out how to work the other camera. So in the meantime, hi, beach girl, welcome. In the meantime, so I got a new iPhone yesterday, guys. The camera is amazing. It's truly, 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 it's worth uh, spending the money. So anyway, so I need to figure out the other camera. So today we're gonna be using my MacBook Pro camera. I think you can get a nice picture. Okay, so let me just show you guys. Today we're having another one of my favorite video reviews, guys. It's going to be, I'm gonna be reviewing Sense from Studio Fragrance. Uh, that I got from them, I think about a week ago. Okay, okay, great. Hi, hi, Jim V. Oh, Gina. Hi, Gina. Welcome. I hope you're all having a good day, a, a good Sunday. You know, and uh, let's see who else. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a few more people to come in because I know uh, I don't want to start over again, and I wanted to be on the same uh, on the same uh, on the same page. So I have four people here. Okay. Okay, so guys, so you know what I did? I went to Studio for Gans and I placed an order. Let me see if I can find the order now. Yes. And I placed an order. Hi, Laura, welcome. I placed an order from Studio for Gans, guys, and I didn't realize I have so many fragrance oils. And I said, you know what? There's no way I can review all of them today. So today I'm only gonna be doing 13, okay? Uh, so this is, I ordered 24, but there's no way I can do 24 today, guys, because otherwise, hi, Myrna, well, happy Sunday to you too. There's no way I can review 21, uh, 24 oils today, guys, because my nose will explode. So, you know, so today we're gonna, only gonna do 13, you know? And I just wanna, but before I start, I just wanna see, uh, how you all doing, guys? Have you had uh, a good week, you know? Last weekend I took off because I just wanted a break, you know? And also, my husband came back from Australia, you know? And so uh, he's he, he's taking time to adjust because the, the time zone is different, you know? He feels much better. Uh, he doesn't have COVID anymore, so he's gonna go back to work tomorrow. And yeah, and I've been testing negative, so I'm, I'm fine. So, so thank goodness, you know, like uh, we are, we're okay. And that's what's important. Hi, Jamie, welcome. Oh, these pearls, how Laura, are uh, these pearls? Uh, my husband got them for me from Australia. So, yeah, I decided to show them to you today, guys. Yeah. So, okay. So, let's see what else, what else, what else? I'm working on my, let's see. Okay, let's start. Okay, so I have in here, I did a printout of, the, of all the scents that I got that I'm going to be showing you today. So today, so the first scent is going to be Orchid and Black Amber. Guys, have you tried this this company before? You know, I I never I think I did try them once again, like a year ago again, but I don't remember it. So if you if you have any opinions about these guys, if you if you smell this before, let me know. Okay, this is the first time that I'm gonna be test testing this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Black orchid and no orchid and black amber. Oh, wow, I can smell it from here now. Oof. Okay, this company does not give you uh, a lot of the scent descriptions. Um, I wish that you no, know, they will tell you, but the only product description that I have for this scent is the top note is citrus floral, the middle note booty amber. And the bottom note is Sweet Musk. Okay, let's see. Hi Val, welcome darling. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I, sm 
smell the citrus, but the floral, but I'm, it's not for me. It's, it's really like, I was expecting a nice floral vibe from this, a, a deep, rich floral, you know, and, and a muskiness. Uh, to me, the, the citrus is taking over the whole fragrance oil, you know. Again, you have to, to really review a fragrance to really, it's, you have to make it into a candle, you know. So, if you, who knows, I'm going to wait until it dries down, guys. Uh, but I have to say that for uh, this one, for me, it's not, okay. So, I'm just going to put it to the side. It's not for me. But I'm not gonna I'm, gonna I'm not gonna put it down because if you like citrus and you like flower, uh, uh, that kind of vibe, no, you, you might like it, you know. And okay, so let's do the next one. The next one is tobacco vanilla. Again, I'm reviewing oils from Studio Fragrance. So this is the. Hi Mia, welcome darling. Mia, did you try this before? This company before? I think you did. I think you told me that's on, on I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. Okay, this is tobacco vanilla. Do I have mine? Okay. Let me see if I, if I just move you guys over here so I won't give you my, my back. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Tobacco vanilla. Let's see the description from the website. Uh, it says, Such a luscious, sensual, unisex fragrance, aromatic spice notes of bold, complex tobacco leaves, a layer with rich vanilla and cinnamon in this best selling Tom Ford inspired scent. Okay. This is in five by Tom Ford. Beautiful. Okay, I, I love the combination of the cinnamon in here, guys. It's something uh, that I never had before, you know, in, with tobacco. It really complements so well. I really like this one a lot. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, hi, Mary Clay, welcome. Guys, this one is really nice, okay? I think the, the top note is tobacco leaf, spicy, no uh, spicy notes. Uh, the middle note is cinnamon, clove, and ginger. That's the secret for this. The bottom note is tobacco bark, amber, and vanilla. Oh my God, these all sing together so well, guys. This is beautiful, tobacco vanilla. Oh my God. Highly recommend it, guys. I'm gonna make it into a candle. Okay, so this one is gonna go into the yes pile. Let me just put it in here. Okay, the next one, lavender and sage. So this is the Mia, this one tobacco manila. It's a good one. It's you know it's for you guys who don't don't like too, too much of tobacco scent. Uh, this one is not. It doesn't have like the heavy tobacco scent. This is more like it smells more like spicy uh, cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla. That's the main vibe that I get from here. But right at the bottom, it's you can smell the note of uh, tobacco. So that's what makes it uh, very special, okay? That's what I like about this. That it's not like you don't get the tobacco right away. You know, like that one is really nice. Okay, Lavender and Sage. Oh, Lucky Sport, yes. Tobacco Vanilla, yes. Oh, also the one from Candle Sun Supplies is very good. Okay, let's say lavender and sage. Let's see if I get information from from this from this fragrance oil. Let's see what it says. I have a print out in here. Okay. I uh, all it says that it's inspired by Moonworks scent. Moonworks. It's a registered trademark, so I don't know. Okay, the top note is rosemary thyme, the heart note is lavender sage, and the base note is white smoke. I mean, white musk. Wow. This one is glorious, too. <sighs> I 
this is the first time that I smell, uh, that I smell uh, rosemary's uh, uh, fragrance in an oil that is truly, truly, truly very pleasant. Uh, wow, the combination of the notes and the lavender is there, but it's not it's not as strong. It combines with the, with the rose. This is very cleansing, aromatherapy-like uh, scent. Really, really, really nice. I'm very happy with this one, guys, okay? Highly recommend it. So far, I'm very impressed. Okay, the next one is called Black Eyes. Black Eyes, and guys, the test for these fragrance oils is when you make them into a small test candor to see how they burn, to see how the HD goes, you know, so. Okay. Let's see, black eyes. This is supposed to be like a masculine uh, scent. Let's say. Let's see what it says. A dynamic masculine fragrance with invigorating citrus notes intertwining with wild lavender and subtle florals. Enhanced with the earthy tonality of forest moss, soothing moss, resinous woods, and a kiss of sandalwood. Top note, citrus, heart, uh, lavender, jasmine, mugwet, base notes, ambergris, moss, musk, and woods. Okay, I'm not getting this one. Okay, it's, it smells nice. To me, it doesn't smell that masculine at all. Uh, it's not calling my name. I can hardly smell the citrus. So, you know, when you try to do something spectacular and you try to blend too many scents, this is what happens. That nothing really stings, nothing really like uh, grabs your attention. I mean, this is my opinion. You may like it, you know, but to me, this is a, a no-go. Okay. And guys, you already know the way I am. I'm, you know, if I don't like something, I have to say it. Hi, Candle Chef, welcome. Oh, welcome, 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 Candle Chef. Okay, the next one is Sandalwood and Blue Sage. I love these combinations, guys, you know. It's so interesting, just something different. I'm looking for something different for next year for my candle line, you know? So let's see. Sandalwood and Blue Sage. Okay. Let's see, it says a clean, elegant fragrance with notes of warm sandalwood, bright bergamot, delicate lavender, and sage, inspired by the body bath works out scent. Uh, body works, bath and body works scent. Okay, let's see. Top note is bergamot, the heart note is lavender and sage, and the base note is sandalwood. No. There's something that is crashing. The blue on the sage, uh, the blue on the sage, the, uh, the sage and the sandalwood, to me, are not getting along. It smells medicinal to me, a little bit kind of forish. Maybe that's the way uh, blue uh, sage smells. If you like blue sage, this may be for you, but I'm gonna pass on this one. Okay. The next one is Egyptian Amber. You know, for me, the herbs on the different notes like sage, thyme, uh, rosemary, uh, you have to be careful when you mix those, you know, because not everybody likes them, you know, and sometimes one kind doesn't go, I mean, doesn't go with the other, you know, it's, but again, that's a, a personal choice. People like different things. Uh, what I may like, you may not like, so it's all up to you, you know. So just, you know, do your own testing. So this one is Egyptian Amber. 
okay? This one says the notes. Set notes. The top note is citrus and jasmine. The heart note is cedarwood, tonka. The base note, amber, sandalwood, and vanilla orchid. Okay. This is one, uh, one of those fragrance oils that wants to tell your story. You know, um, when you first smell it, you don't get it. But as you smell it, it works into you. It wants, it wants to hold it, to hold him, you know, and to be friendly with him. Uh, the citrus opens the door, but it's very, very weak citrus, which I like, and the jasmine and cedarwood and the tonga. It's just the story of the three notes together, guys, the three, uh, and the scent notes, they go so well together, you know, and the amber and, and the vanilla at the end also really helps this to become a like, very nice uh, combination. I, I do like this one a lot. Okay, let's see. Lucky Sport, I went crazy on Black Friday and bought tons of fragrance oils. My new favorites are grand. Oh, yes. I'm telling you guys, I don't know if you guys took advantage of 1617 sale for uh, Thanksgiving weekend. No. I ordered a lot of stuff from them too. Okay, the next one is Rosemary Mint. And today I believe they're having a sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. Okay. Rosemary Mint, here we go. Let's see if I have any, any information. Okay, unexpectedly cool and super refreshing. A fabulous aromatic blend of fresh rosemary, herbs, and mint, and most dry. Okay, the top note is menthol. Middle notes, rosemary, herbs. Uh, the bottom notes is gonna be mint and patchouli. So this is one of the scents that I either gonna love or hate. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's, let's do it together, let's do it together. Okay, here we go. I love it. Wow. Perfect amount of the menthol. It's not too much. It opens up your nostril to receive the rest of the notes. Very relaxing, very clean, cleaning, you know. I think I would love to blend this with, uh, with lavender scent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh -huh. And the patchouli is not... I get the patchouli, but it's not like strong at all, which sometimes it could be like give or take. <sighs> Beautiful. A big yes for this one. Rosemary mint. Yes. The next one. Cactus and sea salt. Okay. Let's see if it says anything about it. No, it, does, it doesn't give you any information about it. They only give you the set notes. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Cactus and sea salt. Uh, the top note for this is a kaffir kaffir lime. Middle note lilac, rose, and violet. Bottom notes woods and white moss. Okay, let me just clean my nostril. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Okay, what's the name of this? Cactus and sea salt. Uh, you know, I'm not too crazy about cactus scents, guys, but this one is like so different. <sighs> so refreshing. And I smell like the ozone, you know, uh, ozone from the salt. I get the saltiness, you know, in the background. This is perfect for a summer. Spring and summer uh, candle, guys. <sighs> Beautiful, it's different. I'm gonna combine, I'm gonna try combining this for a summer, for a summer candle, for my, for, my, for my candle line. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm so happy. I'm so happy so, so far. One, two, three, four, five. I like three, I'm not too crazy about. Okay, so let's go. The next one is called Sun and Sand. Okay.
Okay, this one it has uh, a description. Okay. Okay, let me read the description. It says, clean and bright. It's like a sunny tropical beach with a, uh, with a fresh breeze of sea, of sea spray and suntan lotion. Notes of citrus, lavender, and light musk enhance this summer fragrance inspired by the Yankee scent. Okay, the top note is orange blossom, lemon, and bergamot. The middle note is lavender, and the bottom note is white musk. No. No, not for me. What is it that I don't like about this? I don't like the whole combination. It doesn't smell summer to me. It smells like... I don't like the lavender in here. Maybe if the lavender was, was in here, I would like it. But I think the lavender is crashing. It's ruining the whole effect, the whole vibe. No, not for me, not for me. Okay, the next one is called Golf Breeze. I'm trying to go fast, guys, because it, this is, these are a lot of uh, scents, you know? And I wanna talk to you about my, my other thing that I'm doing, you know? Okay, Golf, uh, golf Breeze. The top note is all, all, um, Ocean and Ozone. Middle note is bergamot, bottom note is sea salt and white moss. Okay, this one, I better like because I like all those notes. I love all those notes. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is beautiful uh, to me, guys. And you're gonna call me crazy, but I think this is too salty. Uh, the salt, I think the saltiness of this kills the whole vibe. For me, it overpowers the whole, uh, the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole fragrance for me. I love the ocean and the ozone. I can hardly smell the bergamot, but the sea salt is too strong. So I wish they didn't have, they didn't put that much sea salt on here, but not for me. If you guys like sea salt a lot, you know, maybe this one you like, but for me, that's not the, it's not for me. Any questions for you guys? PS Hunter, this is called Studio Fragrance, is the name of the company. I believe they are uh, in Florida, in Pensacola, Florida. Okay, the next one is called Spa Fresh. This one. Let's see what it says. Inspired by the Yankee scent. You know, guys, I'm not too crazy when people do inspire, inspired by this, inspired by that. You know, I'd rather be more original. But let's see. Let's see what it says. Top note is bergamot, ozone, and fruity. I don't know about that. Uh, middle notes, muguet, honeysuckle, and green. The bottom note is vanilla. Who knows? I may love it. Okay. Ooh, no. It smells so cheap. Sorry, guys. They messed it up. Too fruity and too sweet. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Okay, the next one, lavender and spring apricot. Okay, lavender and apricot. You know, I think when you make a fragrance oil, See this one here? There has to be a balance, you know? And, you know, when I make my candles, guys, I, I have like, I, I give them to my neighbors and I ask them, do you like this? Yes or no? And why? 
you know, do you find that this is the something like it's too overpowering above the other ones? And they tell me, you know, I think when you are, when you create sense, it's good to have like a focus group uh, to get opinions, you know, and this to me misses so badly, you know, it's, I don't know. Okay, next one, lavender and spring apricot. Yeah, it smells cheap, you know. I know my candles are expensive, guys, but I know what I put into them is science and it's perfection, you know? That's why I charge what I charge. And people love it. Okay. Let's see what it says about this one. It says, stop notes, La uh, lavender and apricot, middle note is floral, bottom note cedarwood, sandalwood, and white moss. Okay, here we go. No, it smells cheap. All it smells is the apricot in here. It's good, it, it's acceptable. You wanna make a $5 candle, but not for a luxury candle for me. It's not, it's not for me. Again, I don't know what the clientele is, but to me, I'm, I'm looking for something better, so something more sophisticated. Okay. The last one is lemon lavender. Then uh, it says in here, an aromatic blend of zesty lemon, bright citrus, and luscious French lavender that intertwines with sweet vanilla and soothing musk. Clean and inviting. I'll tell you. I'll see about that, guys. The top notes, lemon and bergamot. Middle note is lavender. And the bottom note, light musk vanilla. Okay, this one is really nice. I have to say, this one is really, this one really hits the, point, uh, the mark. Uh, the lemon of the bergamot, as I'm opening the door to the lavender uh, bouquet, really uh, sings well with one another. And the, the bottom note of the, of the light moss, and again, the vanilla, works for this one, okay? Again, it's not, it's not sophisticated. None of these scents that I tested today are sophisticated. My, my, no, to me, you know, none of them. They are, they are good, uh, but it's not for a for a luxury brand. Uh, they need more character. They need more uh, finesse. Uh, like I said before, when you put out uh, a candle, if you want to be a uh, luxury, you have to look for that extra background notes that that balance that really intertwines so well with each other and that really embraces you that when people buy the candle, they say, oh my God, it's so beautiful because you are selling the experience. Luxury to me is an experience that nobody else has. It's the, uh, the experience that you're offering to you, uh, to you, uh, to your consumer, to the customer. And uh, none of this makes it for me, okay? Yes. Yes, it's, I'm not gonna say anymore, guys, because you know what? We all have to support each other, you know, and their price. Everybody has different price points when it comes when it comes to candle making, you know. And and I don't want to put this, I don't want to put this uh, down the gutter, you know. I just want to say that for me, for me, for what I'm looking for in my candle line, uh, these are not it. They are good, uh, but not for me. Okay. Any questions, guys, for you? Okay, Mia, I tried doing the FEI Aromatic Fragrance International. Um, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that for for a future video. Yes. Hi, Jervia. Welcome. Welcome from Ohio. So, guys. So, like I told you guys, I got I'm I'm working on on a video. It's going to be it's going to be the first 
holiday extravaganza that I'm putting out out there, guys. It's going to be on three parts. It's going to take me a long time to make all those candles, uh, but I want to feature them on my living room once they are all done. That's going to be on, on episode number three. I want to show you uh, like the year in candles in a way, you know, and just... Uh, so you can get an idea, you know, the different products from 1617, you know, they send me all these beautiful vessels and I just want to show you how beautiful they look in their glory. Okay, so I picked up 16 different scents and I'm making 16 candles and I'm going to include them among the other ones that I've done throughout the year so you can see them. Okay, let's see. Yes, well, you know, it's, uh, I think when people, when people try to fake it, you know, Sometimes you don't make it, you know, like, like, like the phrase fake it until you make it. Sometimes you can do that, but you have to be born for that. You know, you have to, you have to learn, you know, I'm not a good salesman. I know people that can sell um, a bag of dog poop, you know, and people will buy from them. I'm not like that. You know, if I don't like something, if I don't believe in the product, I will not say it. I will not sell it. I will not recommend it to anyone, you know? So yeah. Okay, guys, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's, let's try this. Because why not? So I got this. I got these four oils from Stone Candles. And I'm going to open it for you today, okay? Now, let's try to open this. These bottles... Oh, and guys, I'm gonna give you an update on the other fragrances that I was that I was testing. What was the name of the company that I did a couple of videos ago? Guys, do you remember the name of the company that I reviewed the other day? Okay, so let's see. So this one is Cashmere. Have any of you tried Cashmere from Stone Candles? Okay. I'm not gonna do a strip, I'm just gonna do it from the bottle. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Now you're talking bye bye. Ooh, my goodness. Now you're talking. I don't have the notes in front of me or the information. Let's see what it says in here. It says the top note, lemon, raspberries, apple blossom. Oh my God. The middle notes, bouquet, oak, cashmere, and amber. The bottom notes, guaca wood, cedar wood, and musk. This is a million dollars right over here, guys. Yes, top fragrance, top fragrance. I'm gonna pass on them, guys. Unfortunately. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, but well, this one, guys, Cashmere from Stone Candles. Woo! Yes! A big yes. Okay. You see the difference between one and the other? I love Cashmere and everything. I love Cashmere sweaters. Of course, I don't have any because I hate dry cleaning. I refuse to buy stuff that you have to dry clean. I refuse to spend $10 just for having to clean something. Okay, this one is vanilla sandalwood. Oh, you got one pound of amber or ambre. Do you like it? Okay, let's see. This is like unveiling the mummy. Okay, let's see this one.
Έτσι άρα δεν μπορώ This is a different kind of vibe of um Okay, this one is really nice. Uh the top notes lemon clove. I don't like the not making here. That's what's killing this for me. Middle notes, vanilla, cinnamon, cinnamon leaf, patchouli, amber, cedar, and sandalwood. The nutmeg is killing for me the, the whole vibe. Uh, it's too bad because it's it will be really nice without the, uh, the nutmeg. If you guys, if you like nutmeg, then this one is for you because the balance is there. It's just that it so happens that I don't like nutmeg. Okay. And guys, I have 18 people. Can you please give me more likes so the video will do better? I really appreciate. Thank you. Okay, the next one is Marine, Bergamot, and Jasmine. You know what kind of tape this is? This is the tape that, you, that the plumbers use to put to wrap around pipes, so you won't get a leak. That's this is the kind of tape it is. Okay, again, marine bergamot and jasmine. I'm so excited about this one, guys. Yes. Okay, guys, I know I'm gonna get some hate on this video from people that may like uh, studio fragrances, but I, I mean, I have to be honest, okay? The top note in here is marine, marine mist, bergamot and lemon. Middle note is jasmine, salt water, orchid, lily, and the bottom note, sandstone, watery, musk, and amber. <sighs> spectacular. This one is spectacular, guys. You know why? Uh, because it's, it's different, perfect for summer, uh, but I like it because it's, it's not salty, you know? And this is also from the hotel collection, okay? This is very sophisticated, very like welcoming. Uh, it's not strong. It's very pleasant, like, again, to, to put on a big room with a lot of people that may not like uh, strong scents. Very welcoming, very, like, inviting. Yeah, sophisticated. Oh, my God, yes. Great combination of this one, guys. Marine, Bergamot, and Jasmine. A big winner. Beautiful. Okay. And the last one is Rosemary Mint. Oh, thank you. Yes, I know. I love, I love our Earth Glow. I love Alan. He's so nice. You know, I love his channel. I love his jewelry. As a matter of fact, this is one of his rings that I got in here. You know, and he's such a nice and kind person, you know, and I really like, like his vibe, you know, and he's going, he's doing a lot, you know, he's, he's going to school, he's working, you know, it's, it's really like, He's on the path to huge success. Okay. Rosemary Mint. And this one also has tape. In here, no. Okay, let's see if this Rosemary Mint calls my name because like I told you on the video on, on the other oil, Rosemary Mint, it has to be unique for me to like it. Okay, so let me, let me read you the notes before I smell it. Okay, uh, the top notes, lemon balsam, fur needle, corn mint, middle note is rosemary, eucalyptus, the bottom note, lavender leaves, and cedar. Okay. At the beginning, I didn't like it, but then it starts working to me, guys. It's like intertwining into me, you know, and all the, all the, all the scents. All the notes blending together. This is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I like that it has lavender on it too. So that gives it that extra kick, that extra, that extra 
je ne sais quoi, you know? <sighs> Beautiful. Excellent. I love it. I like it a lot. Okay, guys. So those are my candles and uh, my fragrance oil reviews for today. I hope you enjoy them. And again, you know, I have to be honest. I say what I feel, you know, and there's no BS with me. You know, uh, yeah. So, okay, guys. Any questions for me? Yes. Uh, Aerosmith also makes soaps also and body butters. And again, let me show you. It's beautiful ring. So he does live streams, I think, on Fridays. But if you go to his in Instagram, uh, I'm going to link it below. And you can just check his, his channel and all the social media. Okay. Okay, guys. If you don't have, if you don't have any more questions, if you don't have any questions, guys, I'm going to uh, end up the, the live streaming here. Again, guys, just don't forget to go to my website, candleromance.shop. So you can show my beautiful candles. Yes. Okay. Guys, I'm going to end in here. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you Tuesday. It's going to be my next candle of the week, guys. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> yes. Take notes. My next candle of the week is going to be called Meditation. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say. It's called Meditation. It's a very special candle with a very special uh, vessel. So just wait for the thumbnail. I'm going to put it up tonight. Okay, guys. And I'll see you uh, on the next live stream. Okay. Thank you for coming. Yes!